Happy Friday! Happy Friday. <laughs> She's every, shedding Every again. single day, at, ladies with long hair, I know you know what I'm talking about. Every single day I'll be working out and you, you feel something, you start going like this, and you can't see it, and you do it like half the, half the time, and you're like, I know something's on me. You look like a crazy person. I just found the hair that's been bothering me for the past half hour. It's always stuck in like my armpit or something. Like yeah. in my bra. It's not armpit hair though. The rest of them get stuck in the shower, because I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure that every day there's like a small farm animal that's running around the entire inside of the shower. And I'm not really quite sure whether to like brush it up or pet it. Yeah, it's kind of gross, but I'm, I'm shocked I still have a full head of hair with how much hair I lose. Four but, heads of hair. Yeah. Anyway, so we're, we're digressing. Let's get back to the point. Um, today we wanted to talk about something that every single one of us has. We have it. We have it. You have it. Everybody that is yet to be in this challenge has it. And that is called an excuse. An excuse. It is really easy to make excuses for things you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. And let's all be honest, not all of us love working out, not all of us love eating healthy. We don't always love working out or eating healthy. It is what it is, but it doesn't make it less necessary. Right. And so what we tend to do is come up with a real, and some of us are really good at it. Actually, I find that I'm really good at it. Like I feel like when I want to make an excuse, oh, let me tell you, I will come up with anything, like the stars aligned. I think you have like a doctorate a, in, in excuseology. I'm, yes. Oh, like I've always <laughs> wanted some sort of PhD or some sort of, you know, initials behind my name. Yeah, well, I've got one and it's, yeah. what did we just say? Excuseology. Excuseology. In yeah. fact, that's going to be my hashtag from now on. You're welcome. There we go. I'm going to patent that. There you go. Whatever. Or copy. And then like sell it to me I don't know. Something. Yeah. Anyway, so. <laughs> So what we want to know is what are your excuses? Like why have you not gotten a workout in? Why are you saying you can't get up early or do it after work or whatever it is? Why are you saying, ah man, I would love to eat healthy, but I forgot this or I didn't do this. Last night our excuse was, hey, it's Thursday night. We have a church group. I don't have to eat dinner. Oh, they'll bring snacks and we'll just eat snacks. And oh, well, it's all there. So, you know, I don't want to make them feel bad. And I'll eat an entire plate of cheese and pretzels and Me? everything. Yeah, everything that I probably Chunks should be eating. And I'll I'll feel good about it because you know I, I right. it's okay. It's in balance. I do that a lot too. Well, I got to keep it balanced, right? Yeah. And and Which my balance ends up 60, 40, 60 yeah. junk, 40. That's not balance. Yeah. Right? So, what we all have? Them. What are yours? Yeah. So um, my challenge for you guys today is I want you guys to take a piece of paper. For those of you who have been in another group of mine, you, you know this. Take a piece of paper, fold it in half. On one side, I want you to write down two excuses. So like, for instance, my excuse today was, I'm still sore from this week, so maybe I just need to take a break. And then on the other side of that folded piece of paper, I want you to use like a word of affirmation or change that around like, by getting up and moving my body, I'm gonna be less sore. Or, hey, I can't resist donuts, because donuts are delicious. But on the other side, I can say I absolutely can. I have the means, I have the why, I have the purpose to just say no, because my end result is greater. So find that excuse, and then find a solution to that excuse. Like, you know, I don't, I make excuses not to get my workout in. Well, now I know I need to get my workout in first thing in the morning, so I really eliminate that excuse, whatever that is. Sometimes it's, it's we, we actually call ourselves something and we create something out of ourselves, right? I'm not a morning person. Yeah. Really? Sorry. Why are you not a morning person? Right. You weren't like born genetically not a morning person. Right. You decided in your head. What is a morning person yeah. anyway? Like are, are morning people different than night people? Like, no, I don't believe that. Are you a like, vampire? Yeah. I believe there's some like sort of like physiological difference yeah. that creates them. It's something that we mentally did to ourselves. We created that inside and that's okay. But if evening workouts are too much in the way and we don't have time to do them, but we're not morning people, we have to start maybe calling ourselves, oh, you know what? I am a morning person. I will be a morning person. I can be a morning person. Watch me be a morning person. Yeah. I'm going to do it anyway because my why is bigger than my excuse. Yes. So like this morning, for instance, okay, Savannah, real quick, I was thinking of you today because when she was like, when Autumn, so we're doing 21 day fix and she, she describes the move and at the end she goes burpees. I was like, oh shoot, Savannah, I'm so sorry. Burpees, burpees. Because I know you don't like them, but you're going to do them and you're going to rock them. But today, no, nobody likes burpees. That's today my workout was my honestly my least favorite workout. So I woke up first thing this morning going, oh, i got to do that workout. I hate that workout. Flippin' hate that workout. Oh, I don't want to do that workout. And then I came out and I'm like, I love this workout. 
I got this workout, let's do this workout. Because it really is what you think about, you bring about. If you're thinking that it's gonna be negative, it's absolutely gonna be negative the whole time. But if you kind of, if you kind of force yourself and you kind of trick your subconscious mind to go, I love this, because it doesn't know. It just knows what it knows. It doesn't think anything into it. So if you're telling it, I love this workout, it makes it a little bit easier. So yeah. kind of like, Maybe lie to yourself a little bit, and then pretty soon you start believing it. No, honestly, <laughs> like I use the morning person, person like an ally or that that example because neither one of I was not a morning person at all. So I fully am aware of what you're talking about and what people go through. We just have to create more. And I still, don't, I'm not gonna lie, we still don't love right. to wake up at 4 a.m. But we re we recognize the necessity to do it, and it is easier because we tell ourselves like I can do that. Like, that's what I do. Now, I do. we're those people that get up at 4 a.m. Like that, and now we identify ourselves with that more. Right. You know? Yeah, we're the crazy people. Whatever. Yeah. But it's I like, okay. I like it. Yeah. All right. You guys have a fantastic... Oh! No, I didn't say my challenge. Oh. Sorry, this went on really, really long. So, oh, I kind of did. You did. Okay. But I didn't really... Okay, so take a piece of paper, fold it in half. One side, I want you to put two excuses. On the opposite side, right next to it, I want you to put the the, what's the word I'm looking for? The elimination of that excuse, or the positive affirmation, if you will. And then I want you to take a picture of it, I want you to post it below. Today is gonna be five points. There you go. You guys have a great day. Everybody look forward to seeing it below. Have a fantastic day, eat well. We'll see you guys soon. Bye everybody.